I'm Paul Ram. Today we're going to be cooking on the Breville Polyscience Control Freak and doing a beautiful dish of spiced monkfish with cardamom and yogurt. And we're going to be showing you two techniques. One, how to cook the monkfish to a precise temperature. And the second will be putting a beautiful glaze of cardamom and saffron over the top of the monkfish. So the first thing that we have done is we've taken the monkfish loins and we've brined them in a salt brine. And that's what we have right here. We're going to be cooking this at 140 Celsius. We're doing a very, very slow dry roast of this fish. Every 45 seconds to a minute or so, we're just turning it very gently. This is a very simple cooking technique. However, the precision and the control that you can get from the control freak is unparalleled. Whether it's a, a piece of monkfish or it's a piece of meat or it's a vegetable, this is a very elegant way to cook. And as you can see, as we're turning it, um, the, the spice on the outside starts to toast very nicely. The nice thing about cooking with this particular unit is that I could put the monkfish to the side and I could cook multiples and I know that the heat here and the heat on this side of the pan is going to be very consistent which can be very different when you cook with an open flame. So, the, uh, the monkfish is actually now at um, a beautiful temperature of 44 degrees Celsius. We're gonna switch this off, and we're gonna remove this from the pan. We're letting that cool down in the fridge right now. So the next process here is we're gonna be beginning to start with the infusion of the spices for the glaze that we're gonna be glazing the monkfish in. We're gonna be taking a little touch of green cardamom here. We're going to be taking a little bit of saffron right here. This is just very simple Spanish Mala Mancha saffron. I'm going to be taking just a little pinch of the same Bombay curry spice. And we're going to put this up to 90 degrees. We're going to just very gently toast all of these spices together. We're going to start first with obviously the hardest spice, which is going to be the cardamom here. So we've added now the saffron and we've also added the Bombay curry powder here. Anybody that has ever toasted spice in a kitchen will know that obviously if you do it over an open flame or any other kind of heat source where you don't have the level of control and precision that we get here, it's very hard to get a very accurate toast. And you end up burning or singeing um, the spice if you're not careful. I know that I could put the spice in this, walk away and do another job, and I know that it will not go above the 90 degrees of which it's set, and therefore it's not going to burn. This is the control that we want. So we're gonna add this now. Okay, so we have allowed our spice mix to infuse for now 15 minutes. We have everything very nicely settled down inside the pan here, and we're gonna very gently strain this into a bain-marie, just to remove any of the solids so we just have the natural water. We're gonna add this into our pan. And here we have um, a blend of LT and F gelam, which is a high and low acyl, to give us a nice flexible yet firm gelé, which we're gonna encapsulate. I've put this now temperature up to 100 degrees. I really want to bring this to a boil. The reason that we want to obviously bring it up to a boiling temperature now is that when you boil liquid, you release air. The air will set and we will just very gently skim off any of this air bubble on the very top here. And we should be left with a very clear, beautiful saffron cardamom glaze. So here comes the fun part. We're gonna very, very gently just glaze this monkfish. If it's too hot, the glaze is gonna obviously run off the fish. If it's not hot enough, then the gelan is gonna seize up. So this is a very important thing, again, with regards to the consistency and the precision that the control freak brings, especially when using any hydrocolloid gelan especially, which is something which you have to be very quick with. And as you can see, we have this enrobed, beautiful saffron, cardamom, and Bombay spice very fine gelée around the outside of our roasted piece of fish here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it in nice thick pieces. This is, um, this is almost like a chaud foie, traditional French 
um, style, which would be uh, glazing and serving something in a cream sauce, and you would glaze it and serve it cold. Temperature control is crucial to get this kind of result on the fish. It's not undercooked, it's not overcooked, it's just perfect. The control freak gives you that. So we're gonna just very, very gently glaze this with a little touch of walnut oil on every single one. And we're gonna season it with a little touch of molden sea salt, just to finish off. Here we have, very simply, some lovely yogurt. And we've mixed it with a little touch of lemon juice, and we've infused it with some cardamom. So you have a very nice, aromatic, almost like a Indian-style kulfi kind of flavor to it.